Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Toasty Gamer Boutique. We're here playing Dragon City, and this is part 13 of The Beginner Guide. Yeah, we have been working hard and doing our best to get some progress here, and things are moving quite smoothly. Well, actually, last night, speaking of, I was collecting food and refreshing the food to make sure we'd have a good amount of food today, and I ended up collecting enough food that we got enough experience to level up to level 18. So now, we're actually working on getting to level 19, and this experience was just gained by collecting food, so pretty impressive there. Here, we're going to keep on working on those things today. We've got a lot to do and a lot of fun to have. If we go check out the heroic heroic race right now, we have to win league battles and four of them. That's going to be a little tricky, but I think we're going to have a lot of fun with it. Normally, I'd start off by collecting all the gold and collecting everything here. We can go real quick, collect that experience from our habitats that we upgraded or the habitats that we built here. So there we got the experience and things are looking fabulous. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start today off with some league battles. I'm not too sure how this is going to go, but there's only one way to find out. Let's go. Yeah. I should have probably checked what dragons I had, but we're going to go and roll with it. We're going to use our strongest move, Tumbleweed here, off to a good start. Looking good. And Tumbleweed, let's do that again. Perfect. One down, two to go. Ooh, okay. Surprisingly, no damage done there. Here, Tumbleweed isn't going to work, so we're going to use our second strongest move, Flaming Arrows. Ooh, nice. Awesome. So here, will it be enough? Yes. Oh, yeah. Two down, one to go. Okay. So things are moving really smoothly here, and we're going to use our next strongest move, or our strongest move, Tumbleweed. Oh, we just lost that creature. No biggie, though, because we've got two more. I'm going to go with... Uh, da, 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 da. let's go with our flame dragon. Yeah. Here we're going to go ahead and use nuclear hit, our strongest move, and, woo, victory. Oh, yeah. Here I highly recommend watching an ad for the 5,000 food, but I'm going to keep going. We don't have time for that right now. Let's move on to our next league battle. You can only do three league battles kind of at a time here, so we're going to do our best to win another one. Here, we're going to use our, our strongest move, Flaming Arrows, that's available, of course. You don't want to use the moves with an X. So Flaming Arrows it is. Awesome. Looking good here. Beautiful. We're going to go to Tumbleweed, our strongest move. Yeah, looking good. Keep it rolling. And then back to Flaming Arrows. Yeah, another victory, Yas Queen. So here, I would recommend watching that ad for the 10 times reward of 5,000 food. I'm just going to claim that 500 for now. And we're going to move over here. I've got my free spin. Now, when it comes to league battles, there's only one more that's available. So I'm going to try my luck with the spin here and see if we can't get two of the... Um, progresses for this heroic race. Oh, no way. Five. Okay. So technically, we didn't even have to do any of those league battles, but we got such good progress that I'm feeling proud. Yeah. Here, if we look at our next quest, we have to collect item by collecting gold, and we have to get an item by feeding dragons. So we are about to have some real fun up in here. Let's go ahead, collect all that gold, get some of those beautiful red gems. Awesome, that's looking real good there. And next, we're gonna have some fun feeding our dragons. Here, we're gonna go to our dragon book. We're going to go to dragons and we're gonna put them in order of descending power. So we've got five dragons that are level 20. That's pretty good. Let's see, most of our dragons are level 15. So I would like to get all of my dragons to level 15. So I'm gonna start with the lowest dragon. Here, we've got a decent amount of food. So let's just try to get this dragon all the way to level 15. And I'm seeing those beetles come in. So this is really going well so far. Beautiful. So here, we're doing great. We should get to level 15, no problem. And of course, we could upgrade this dragon to level 20, but I'm going to be a little bit more strategic after we get all our dragons to level 20. I mean, 15, sorry, level 15. Here, why I'm doing this is because I want to next feed all of the strongest dragons. So here, let's go. Let's get Rudolph all the way to level 15. Interesting. 
I'm not seeing any more of those beetles. Did we already finish that quest one, Sekiruni? Oh, no, we have not finished that quest. Okay, so more feeding to go. Let's do this. Back to the dragon book over here. We're going to scroll on down. And here, let's go ahead and take that love dragon. And we're going to go all the way to level 10 for now. So here, I kind of want to get an equal playing ground. Yeah, there we go. So level 10. So now we've got those two dragons at level 10. And the love dragon has more power than the ice dragon. So that's good to know. Here, we're going to go ahead and keep feeding this dragon. We're going to level 10 as well for this one for now. I said we were going to go to level 15, but I feel like level 10 is pretty good. Here, we're going to get this dragon, Rudolph, all the way to level 10. Let's go. Beautiful. And yeah, that's awesome. Okay, awesome. So here we've got those dragons at level 10. And one more to go. We're going to get our monstrous dragon all the way to the monster ball at level 10. Here we go. Beautiful. So that's looking real good there. And now we have we can see, we can compare. We've got our four dragons here in order of power. So the strongest dragon that's currently at level 10, whoops, the strongest dragon that's currently at level 10 is the monstrous dragon in first place and the martial arts dragon in second place. So what that tells me, oh, I didn't even see that. Check this out. Rudolph, a Rudolph dragon is actually stronger than both the nature dragon and the electric dragon at level 15. Super cool. So here, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to feed Rudolph all the way to level 15 here. Yeah, that's looking good. Beautiful. There we go. So there, that's looking good. And check this out. I bet you that dragon, that dragon is near the top of the ranks. Yep. Right now, if we compare all the level 15 dragons, Rudolph is the strongest. So here, this is a dragon that I would love to have at level 20, just because the battles in the arenas, in the league battles, this dragon's going to be very powerful and it's going to help us out. Now, if we compare it, our strongest dragon is the Aztec dragon, and in second place, we have the Rudolph dragon. So, definitely happy to add that dragon to our collection. Next, let's go ahead and take the monstrous dragon. I want to feed that dragon all the way to level 15 as well, and then we're going to do the same comparison. Beautiful. So, here... Where did that dragon go? Looks like it went up in rank. Oh, yeah. So now the monstrous dragon, it's now the strongest level 15 dragon. So this dragon is definitely a dragon that I want to get all the way to level 20. We're going to max out the level right now. Let's go. Beautiful. Oops, clicked once too many times. There it is. So now, if we check this out here, Rudolph's still in second place. Uh, our first place is the Aztec dragon for the strongest dragon. The third strongest dragon is the Jelly dragon. And that's probably because of the ranks that we've gotten. The Aztec is at a B minus and the Jelly is at a C plus, which is really good. Here, next, we've got the Centipede in fourth place and the Monstrous is now our fifth place strongest dragon. So that's really exciting. Here, if we look at all the other dragons, uh, you know, they're pretty much in order. Let's go ahead and get our last three dragons all the way to level 15. I've been kind of going all over the place here, but this will give us kind of an even level field to see which dragons are really the biggest, strongest warriors of our collection so far. And... Yep, there we go. Perfect. Level 15. Love it. Oh, yeah. And here we're going to take this dragon. We're going all the way to level 15 once again. Then we're going to compare all of our dragons and we're going to work on getting the next strongest dragon added to our collection. It's not going to be the ice dragon after all. Here, if we scroll up, looks like out of all the level 15 dragons, the origami is the strongest. So this dragon, we want to get it all the way to level 20. Yeah, let's go, honey. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. So now it's level 20. And if we check this out, the origami dragon is now our sixth strongest dragon that we have. So this is moving quite well. Here we've got the martial arts dragon that I would love to get to level 20 as well. And we've got a decent amount of food left. So let's go. 
Beautiful. Oh, and we just equipped, a, we unlocked a new skin. So here we can equip that if we want. And if ever you want to change the skins again, here you can go back here, you have the adult skin or the bronze martial arts skin. And, you know, I'm not too partial to what the dragons look like. So, I mean, of course, I do like some beautiful dragons, but I'm feeling pretty fierce with this. We're going to stick with this new skin that we just unlocked. Awesome. So now we've got a good lineup of some strong dragons. We've got nine dragons at level 20. I'm feeling pretty good about it. When it comes to gold income, now here we can go and have some real fun because we've got a bunch of dragons spread out kind of all over the place. And if we want to increase the gold income that we're getting, we want to level up some dragons that we've got a couple multiples of. So like here, we've got those volcano dragons. We could go ahead and just feed those all the way to level five. So here, we're just gonna go, we're not gonna, you know, give them too much food. We just wanna go to level five before the um, feeding food prices get too expensive. So we're doing a little bit of a little bit of an investment for the long-term rewards. Here, we've got this flaming rock dragon, and I'm gonna do the same thing. We're gonna get this dragon all the way to level five and then stop right there, perfect. We're gonna do the same thing here on these other habitats, see if we have any level one dragons. Not seeing any right now. Not there either, not over here. Here, we've got them all to level five at least. Okay, so next up, we're really over on this habitat. So we're gonna feed this dragon all the way to level five, but then we're gonna stop. Perfect. Yeah, that's looking good. Here, let's go to the next level one dragon. Same habitat, so we can just hit that arrow right there. And yeah, that's looking great. Perfect. So now that dragon's crushing it. Here, I think I'm going to go ahead, get this volcano dragon to level five as well. Beautiful. Perfect. Oh, yeah. So that's looking awesome. Ooh, and okay, I can't help it. Here, I just noticed we've got a banana dragon that we can go ahead and hatch. This is my first banana dragon. So let's go ahead and hatch this cutie patootie over here. We've got this new nature habitat that we built earlier. So I'm gonna place it right there. And we are definitely gonna feed this dragon. I'm gonna feed it all the way to level 15, maybe even more. We'll see in just a sec. So here we're seeing the income go up and this dragon seems to have a pretty good income. I like it. Yeah. So here, let's go. Let's go. Maybe I'll even go to all the way, go all the way to level 20. Eh, so far, so good. Let's go all the way to level 20. I'm feeling it. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. And there we go, maxed out at level 20. So here we've got an amazing income, 220 gold per minute. We have 104 master points. And here our stats are looking pretty good, over 10,000 health and almost 2,000 in damage. I like it. Yeah, perfect. I'm a little bit curious where we, were, uh, where we are on the missions over here. We didn't get any more of the beetles and we haven't gotten any more gems. Interesting. Alrighty. Well, in that case, let's go over here and I'm going to feed a couple of these electric dragons. I want to get these dragons all the way to level five so they've got a decent gold income. And then here we can see their stats going up and yeah, I like that. So here we're going to go. Is there another level one dragon there? No. We're going to go to this habitat. No level one dragons. There we go. Here we're going to get this dragon all the way to level five. Those beetles sure are rare this morning. Okay, so that's looking fabulous. Next, we've got another ice dragon. So I'm going to take this dragon all the way to level five. Beautiful, yeah. And even though this dragon is a little bit more pricey, let's just feed it a little bit. Okay, maybe a lot a bit. Here, we're going to go all the way to level 20. I'm feeling it. We've got a decent amount of food left. We've gone through about two thirds of our food that we had saved up. So this is moving quite well. Ooh, nice, here, let's do that move. Here we've got another electric habitat. So I'm gonna move, uh, let's go with this cutie patootie love dragon over here. We're gonna move it on that habitat so it can keep making some gold for us. That's looking good, that's looking good. Yeah, things are looking pretty good over here. 
interesting. So let's go to our habitat, see if we can't get some more of those red gems there. We're just going to do a little bit of gold collecting. Huh, no gems, no beetles. Interesting. I don't know why it gets so hard near the end of those quests. Still no red gem there? No way. Okay, here we're going to go ahead and get that there. Get that gold. I want to see a red gem pop up on this screen. Beautiful. And that's going really well. We're getting tons of gold. I love it. Here we can go ahead, get that going on, get this going on, collect all that gold, rock on. So we're not seeing too much progress here. Let's go ahead, mix it up. I'm going to the quest battles. Here, ooh, perfect. We've got two quest battles right now. So we're going to go with the special event cup, the corrupted quest, and we're going to give this a try. Beautiful. We've got our strong move with the red up arrow, flooding. That went very well. One dragon down, two to go. And here, no red arrow, so we're going to go with our strongest move, tumbleweed. Perfect. And then here, after that, we're going to use flooding again. Yeah, there we go. Flooding the victory. Awesome. So that went super well. Here we've got another cup. Let's go ahead and try this. Ooh, rattlesnake dragon. That's cool. Awesome. This is looking real good over here. And I kind of want to switch up my dragons. Remember, we got some new stronger dragons. So here, let's see. That Aztec dragon's still going to be the strongest. Perfect. And here, the jelly is still the strongest. So we switched out one dragon, and we're ready to go to battle. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Here, we're going to start with Tumbleweed. Off to a good start. Let's hope this continues. Ooh, Tumbleweed has the red up arrow. Very strong indeed. And... Last but not least, we're against the, was it Seashell Dragon? A victory is ours. Beautiful. So that went super well. We got some experience there and love it. Right now, there's the Corrupted Crusade going on. But here, I talked about this in the, the, the last video, part 12. Here we can see there's that red exclamation point. The requirements. We can't play these battles because we don't have that dragon. And I definitely don't have it at level 30. So... You can, see, you can see it here as well. We don't have that dragon, and it's, you know, not that we don't have it, but we don't have any dragons at level 25. So there's no way we can play those battles today. No biggie, though. Let's see what's up next here. Okay, so we've been doing real good. We're having some fun, working on our dragons, and, well, feeding them, it's going slowly but surely. So next up here, I want to take the strongest dragon at level 15, which is the friendship dragon, and we're just going to feed this cutie all the way to level 20. Hopefully we're going to be seeing some of those beetles pop up, but so far it's not the case. Our next strongest dragon at level 15 seems to be the Flaming Rock Dragon, so let's go ahead and feed this. It's also going to give us an increased income, so we're going to be getting more gold. Beautiful. Love it. That's going great. Here, things are moving quite well. Here we've got the Flame Dragon next, and I will upgrade this all the way to level 20. But see, as we continue, it's starting to get pricey in the food department. Yep, okay. So that looks good there. Here... I'm feeling pretty good about this, and I want to keep doing some progress over here. There's an extra space on this uh, sea habitat, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to make a quick sea dragon. Now, if you remember, those don't have the best gold income, so we're not going to feed it that much, but maybe just a little bit. Here, we've already got a sea dragon there, so we're going to go ahead and place it, and I'm going to feed it all the way to level 5, but then I'm going to stop right there. Here, what I'm doing is I'm getting an increased gold income, and hopefully we're going to see one of those beetles, but so far, no luck. Okay, I just noticed we've got over 2 million gold here. If we check this dragon roost out, we're so close to having enough gold to upgrade it. We're not quite yet there, so we've got a little bit of food left to get. I don't think we're going to get that in this video. We'll probably do it in part 14 of the beginner guide. And here, well, we probably have enough gold to expand. Even though there's no expansion event going on right now, uh, I want to expand. So we're going to go ahead and get that corner right there. We're going to get rid of that medium rock. And we're also going to get rid of that big tree. It's going to take a little bit of time, but we're starting that right now. 
And here we're going to go ahead and expand once more. But that's all for today. Here we've got those expansions happening. Things are looking good. Here with this habitat, we can collect that gold. And I'm definitely tempted to, uh, to upgrade it to level two. Here you can see right now we've got a gold storage of 10,000. And if we up it to level two, we're going to have an extra 30,000 for a total of 40,000 gold storage. I like that. Oh, yeah. So here we're going to let that do its magic. And eh, why not? Okay, here we're going to collect a little bit of food. I don't want to go growing some long-term food right now. I'll probably go back to the two-hour food today. But for now, we're just going to do the five-minute food. Oh, and another thing that's really exciting. Here, I spaced out on it. But when we got the level 18 upgrade, they happened technically last night while I was collecting food, we also had the ability to now upgrade our food farms to their max level three. So that would be to upgrade the huge food farm. This is pricey, 500,000 gold, but we're gonna go ahead and do it for one of them. Yeah, I like that. Whoa, okay, so that's some pricey food there. You've got a day food, so if ever, you know, you're gonna be gone for a day and you've got 20 million gold, that might be an interesting, you know, little investment there. So is the piranha plan, not too shabby. We've got a lot of experience, a lot of food, and that's three million gold. So it's a very pricey endeavor. So here, this is looking good. And we're just going to keep growing the food. I'm not going to upgrade any more of the farms at the moment just because I know I don't really have that much food or, or I don't have that much gold these days. So here we're going to keep growing that five minute food. And eventually we're going to level up those farms a little bit more. Definitely super excited about it. Whoops, wrong button. Grow food. Five minutes. Awesome. So here, all of our foods are on a, uh, all of our food farms are on a five minute timer. Things are looking good. And we've got a couple more habitats here. Let's keep investing. Here, I'm gonna collect that gold and we're gonna upgrade this. It's going from 5,000 gold to 20,000 gold in total. So definitely something I like. Perfect. So that's looking real good here. Now, how many habitats of the same would you like to get in total? Well, when I was playing this on my other game that I had, I ended up doing eight habitats each, but that ended up taking a lot of space. And when you get a little bit further in the game, these habitats aren't as interesting as the other habitats that you can build. Just to give a quick demonstration here, if we go down the line, of course, you know, we're not there yet, but for example, here, these, uh, you know, legend habitat, primal habitat, soul habitat, pure habitat, uh, dream, war habitat, happy habitat, all of these are going to have a better gold storage than the beginning habitats. So even though I like having multiple of these, I don't think I'm going to go for as many as I did last time. I'm not going to make eight of each. I think I'm going to go with about six of each. So let's start off. We're going to make one more Terra habitat. I think this is the fifth. We've got one, two, three, four, five there. And yeah, okay, no Terra habitats over here, perfect. And we're gonna do the same thing with the flame habitat. We're gonna go ahead, we've already got five of those, so I'm only building one more flame, perfect. And you know, for now, we're still, you know, doing things, we're not being too careful about where we place them. We're gonna do one flame there, and then we're gonna do one more, oh, psych. I would have done one more Terra habitat so that we had six of those, but I don't have enough gold. So, well, that's all for now. Here, we're gonna go ahead and collect that experience. Perfect. And here, let's see. We're gonna take a level five dragon. We're gonna move it to the new habitat we just created. Perfect. We're gonna do the same thing with the flaming rock dragon. It's level five. We're gonna place it right there. Awesome. So that's looking real good. Yeah, here. Things are moving smoothly, and I kind of want to go back to our shop and see what else we can build. Here, we don't have enough to build any of the crystals right now. Oh, and I was wondering if we had another farm, but not yet. So those were going to require a higher level. We'll get to that eventually. Here, if we check out our new promotions, uh, that's just stuff we can buy with gems. Meh, not too interested there just yet. And here, 
There's some more dragons, but we're not quite yet there. So that's looking good. Oh, here we got an alliance chest. So here, that means we managed to get the first level chest, and that'll be available in a couple hours or so, probably. Super cool. So that's looking great. Here, sometimes those chests take a little bit of time to show up, but it should be there in a couple hours. Perfect. So here, this is looking great. Things are moving smoothly. Let's see what we want to do next. We've got 120,000 gold. Ooh, no, no, no. Don't want to buy gold. Let's see. Here, looks like we have a couple rewards. Let's go ahead and collect our Dragon TV rewards. Beautiful. And we're just going to tap that there. 4,300 food. Awesome. Here, we're going to get another bronze TV chest. Legendary orb, rock on, and one more here. Yas Queen, 4,000 food, love it. And we've got one more, oh, awesome. So here, let's go, baby. 4,000 food, I'll take it. Now, a little bit more rare, we can get the professional coin collector rewards the Dragon TV silver chest. I'm down, let's do it. Big money, big money, yeah! Oh my gosh, we just got five gems, love it. And five of the Flora Dragon Orbs, beautiful. And here we got five of the Legendary Orbs, love it. Te amo, oh yeah. So that's looking great. Here we've got some Corrupted Whispers rewards, and looks like we got 10 of the Pure Essence. So we're gonna go ahead, see what rewards we get from here. Hopefully we'll get some more gems. Oh, five gems and five of the um, E orbs here. I love it. I'll take it. Yas Queen. Rock on. Yeah, so that's looking real good. Beautiful. Here we've got a little bit of food going, and I did activate the boost that we had here. So we've got a boost right now that's going to give us some more food. Perfect. Here we've got some food we can go ahead and collect. I'm going to do that. Oh, another food we can collect. And we're going to regrow all. So that's the five minute timer right there. Things are looking real good over here. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, did I do this? Yes, here we go. Meridian's Tower. Now we finally finished building this up and getting, restoring all of the pieces so we can actually do a four hour gold production increase. I think it's 20%. Uh, yeah, 20% for four hours. So hopefully this is going to help us get some more of those red gems that we're working on. I'm not going to collect the food right now. We're going to let it fill up a little bit more. And uh, what to do? What to do? Here. Ah, oh, okay. Here. There's an event going on right now, and looks like there's something new. New path discovered. Remember one of the videos I mentioned that some dragons show up after a certain amount of time? This is one of those dragons. So now the elusive dragon is now available. Um, it's got some good gold income. It's pretty rare. It's legendary rarity, which is... You know, it's common, rare, very rare, epic, legendary is the almost most rare, and then the most rare is the heroic dragons. So this is definitely a dragon that we'd like to get. Here, we've got about 4,600 of the coins for this mission. I wonder how long this maze is. Hmm, that's pretty long when it comes to the maze. Let's see, here, if we check out this dragon, uh, Shadow Dragon, it's, whoops, it's a little bit more rare, it's just a rare dragon, but still rare, it's got about half the gold as the other dragon, and if we look at it on the map here, we've already done a little bit of progress there, and this dragon seems to be a lot closer to the exit than the other one, huh, should I go with the easier route, or... Should I go with the road less traveled over here, the elusive dragon? Let's see, here 80 coins, here 25 coins. Eh, I don't know if we have enough coins for the shadow dragon. Here, there's a couple dragons that we still need keys to get, and then this dragon isn't available yet. The dark commander dragon will be available in 18 hours and 54 minutes. So that's a pretty cool dragon. I don't think we're you know quite there yet. So do I save some more uh, some more coins? Do I go for the more rare dragon? Or do I take the easy road and do I try getting this dragon over here? Well, you know what? Sometimes I like to live dangerously. Let's go for the elusive dragon. 
We're just gonna get a little bit of an idea here. Here, the first one was 80 coins to progress one step, and there's some pretty good rewards in there. I like that. We've got some tokens for the habitats. Pretty good. Oh, that price went up real fast. Now it's 105 coins to go another move. Let's just do some quick math, and we're gonna lowball this. We've got one, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, whoops, that was nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 moves. So here at 100 each, 16, that's 1,600. At 200 each, that's uh, 16 times two, 3,200. So we might actually have a slim chance of being able Oh my gosh, I didn't even count all the way. I counted all, wait, did I? Wait a second here. That's a lot of moves. Where's that dragon? Okay, here, dark blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Ay, yay, yay. 23, we're gonna go quickly. 23 times two is 46. So eh, it's gonna be hard, but it might be possible. We're like, you know, real close on that. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this dragon, but like I said, there's only one way to find out. Let's try it. Here, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna make some more progress. That was 105 of those coins. And come on, bring it. Ooh, 50 flame tokens. Yeah, that's gonna be perfect for our habitats. Here we can see the next move is gonna be 130 coins. So the price is progressively going up. Uh, that's okay there. Here, let's see what we get in this chest. Ooh, two of the rescue keys, okay. Oh man, here we're already at 155. So the price to move one space is going up really fast here. Beautiful, let's see what's in this chest. Ooh, 10 battery dragon orbs, I like that. Ooh, man, here the next move is going to be 180 tokens. That's expensive, but we're getting some nice rewards. Let's see how far we can get here. Fallen Angel Orb, I like it. Here, oh man, it's already in the 200s. So the next move is 205. That's getting pricey. Now, I estimated, and I said I was lowballing it, I estimated each move was about 200 tokens or coins each, and we're already past the 200 mark. So now, oh, ouch, 230. That's expensive. Here, if we check, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 moves left. 18 times two is 3,600, or 18 times uh, 200 is 3,600. So that's pricey. Um, 3,600, I mean, the chances that we can actually make it to the end, we're gonna have to get some more of these coins, but we might actually have a slim chance of pulling this off. So I'm gonna keep going. Here, we've got uh, the arrow that you can click on if ever you are having difficulties finding your dragon. And we're gonna go ahead and keep going. We're gonna stick on the path that we started on. If I spread myself out too thin, I'm gonna get a bunch of chests you know, the rewards here, but we're not necessarily going to get any dragons. So let's try this 250, oh man, it's just too expensive here. I think I'm gonna go back to the shadow dragon. Here, this is a lot more reasonable in price. Here it's 25 coins. We might actually have a chance of getting the shadow dragon. Perfect, so here, uh, I think uh, I feel bad about the elusive dragon, but I don't know if we're gonna be able to get it, and I'd rather get one dragon than none. Here, we're gonna go ahead, do that next move, and it's only 35, so that wasn't expensive at all, and we just got a bunch of food. Here, this next move is only 45 coins, so this is a lot more up my alley, realistically, right now. 
And here we got 10 common orbs, beautiful. Next move, 55. Okay, I like this. So here, we're doing good. We got 50,000 gold, that's awesome. Here, we're gonna go, 75 coins. I'm doing it, we're moving on. And, ooh, yes, here, let's go, let's go. Five pure essence, that's awesome. Here, it's going up still the price, but we're only at 95 and we're five steps away. So let's say 100 times five, that's 500. We've got a good chance of getting the shadow dragon, but I think the elusive dragon is definitely gonna be elusive indeed. Let's keep this going. Come on, shadow, come through. Oh, and there's that first blue key. That now unlocks this very rare dragon over here. So we can go ahead and tap that dragon and it's now freed, released. So we just released the Chibi Chief Dragon, and here, if we can move that dragon all the way to the end, we could actually get that. And looks like the price is way less expensive than the Elusive Dragon. So maybe I went down the wrong road for the Elusive Dragon, but I mean, I gave it a chance, and we tried. Here, this is a very rare dragon. It's got, a, you know, good income, could be better, and, you know, I think I'm gonna stick with the Shadow Dragon for now. We're so close to getting it. Let's keep this moving. Beautiful. So here, let's go ahead and see what's in this chest. Ooh, two pure essence, perfect. We're gonna move again, 135 tokens. And, and this looks like it would be a battle, yep. Here we've got the Aztec Priest Dragon. That's a uh, nature dragon and a dark dragon. So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go to battle and I think I'm gonna go with our Rudolph dragon. It is a Terra and light dragon. So maybe this will give us a good advantage. I'm not sure though. E. Okay, so we've actually got a disadvantage with light star, but our next strongest move, meteor shower, hopefully will do some good damage. Okay, okay, we might have a chance. Yes, victory, perfect. So here, we just won that battle, oh. And for the next battle against the troll dragon, it's not for another hour. So we're kind of stuck for now, unless we spend more tokens, which, I mean, I've got some time ahead of me. I don't want to spend that just yet. We're gonna keep working on this. So we're one step away from getting the shadow dragon. Now, do I want to go for the chibi chief dragon over here? It's 19 steps away from the exit. Or do I want to go for the elusive dragon, which is, what was it, 18 steps away from the exit? Now, I spent a lot of coins trying to get this dragon, but we did the math. It's kind of like, you know, not likely that we're going to get it. If anything, I should try going for the Chibi Chief. Here, the price isn't too much. 30 tokens, and we're making some progress here. We just got a bunch of gold. Love it. Here, we're going to keep progressing over here. Man, let's see. This is not too shabby. Let's see what rewards we get in this chest. Ooh, five coral dragon orbs. Love it. Perfect. Here, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to do one more move, and that's going to get us some food. Awesome. And why not? Let's do another move. Let's go. So that's going pretty well there. Here, we're going to go ahead, get these orbs, and ooh, bunch of tokens for our habitats. Love it. Next up is some more gold. Oh yeah, I want 50,000 gold, let's go. Beautiful, so that's actually going really well. Here the price isn't too bad so far. Beautiful, we've got another chest for rewards. Ooh, 10 alpine dragon orbs, awesome. Here, the next step is gonna be 125 tokens and we're 13 steps away from the exit. Um, let's just do 100 times 13 is 1,300. Um, let's say we double that, it's 2,600. We might actually have a chance to get this Chibi Chief Dragon. So I'm gonna stick on this path. Beautiful. I mean, I know we wasted some of these, what are they, fog coins or the maze coins. We wasted those trying to get the Elusive Dragon, but we still got some good rewards along the way. So all is not lost. Marvelous, there we go. We just got some rescue keys. We're not there yet, but we're working it. Here, we're gonna keep moving with the Chibi Chief. Beautiful, and we got some free Ox Dragon Orbs there. Here, we're gonna keep making some progress here. We got some food there, love it. Here, we're gonna get one of those uh, corrupted chests. 
And yes, five pure essence, perfect. Here, we're gonna go again. Beautiful, bunch of gold, love it. Here, oh, there's a green key, awesome. We're not even gonna think about the green key dragon that's there. Cold star orbs, perfect. And here, you know when I doubled those numbers that we were doing earlier? It's because it gets more and more expensive as we go and we're already into the 200s here. So here, Katera dragon, super cool. We just released that dragon, but we're not there yet. So let's go ahead and find the Chibi Chief once again. Here we go. So now we're into the 200 coin department. This is getting expensive. Here, we're gonna be able to claim some of these common orbs. And we got 10 of them, beautiful. Let's do one more move. That looks like a legendary chest. Hopefully it is legendary indeed. Woo, yeah, I can handle that 43,000 food. That's real good, I like it. Here, we're gonna go ahead, use our maze coins and get to this. It looks like another battle over here. And, ooh, we're going up against the archer dragon. Okay, let's try this. Hmm, who should I use? Wait, we're just gonna go back real quick. It's a electric, ice, and dark dragon. Well, I'm gonna try my Aztec dragon. It's my strongest dragon and we're gonna give it a roll. Come on, baby. Ooh, yes, tumbleweed is a strong move with the red arrow. Oh, victory, yas queen. So that's going super well. Oops, wrong button. And here, we're gonna have to wait another hour for the next encounter there. So we made some good progress here and I'm gonna stop there for now. I'm really stoked. We got a bunch of food and a bunch of gold. Let's go ahead and have some fun with this. We're gonna regrow our five minute food. And yes, we just got two of those red gems. Yas queen, beautiful. Here, we're doing great. We're making some progress. And let's see what we can do next. Do we have all our dragons at level 20? No. So now I wanna feed all my dragons all the way to level 20. We just got two beetles, I love it. And hopefully we're gonna get some more beetles here for the um, heroic race that we have going on. Next up, the love dragon. Sending tons of love and positive energies out there to everybody. I hope you're all having a fabulous day, having fun, gaming it up. Yeah. There, we just leveled up that dragon to level 20. Things are looking good. Let's keep it going to level 20 over here. Beautiful. No beetles coming through right now. Oop, but it is okay. So we're maxed out there. Looking pretty good. Here, we've got a little bit of food, not too shabby. And let's just see where we are. Huh, we need four more beetles and three more of the red gems. Okay, we might have to come back to this here. I notice we're running low on time. Here, what we're gonna do is, hmm, huh, do we have enough place to place a sea dragon? Yeah, perfect. So here, we're gonna get this sea dragon to level five just so it increases the gold income and hopefully we'll see one of those beetles along the way. Oops, okay, so I went a little too far. We're just gonna go to level six. Perfect, that's looking great. Here, we're gonna hatch some of these electric eggs. Awesome, we're gonna place that right there. Get this cutie to level five. Beautiful, and yeah, that's looking great. Here, I'm gonna hatch one more egg. Beautiful, and place that right there. We're gonna get it to level five. Now our habitats are pretty well stocked. Beautiful, looking great there, awesome. And things are looking nice. Um, you know, here we've got a little bit of gold. Maybe we could get that, what was it? We've got six flame. We wanted one more Terra habitat. Let's go ahead and wrong move there. Here we're gonna go and do our best to build another Terra habitat. One, two, three, four, five, that makes six. Perfect, awesome. So that's looking good here. Here we're gonna collect a little bit of gold. And if we can, we're gonna upgrade this habitat as well. That'll get us from 500 max gold to 10,000 max gold. I like it, that's what I'm talking about. Beautiful. Here we're gonna spread out some dragons some more. I'm gonna move this Terra habitat, or Terra dragon to that Terra habitat. Looking good. And Hmm, well, I don't wanna get the dragon out of the breeding area, just in case we have to breed another dragon for the heroic quest, but I do wanna fill up this area with some dragon eggs. So, 
I think our electric habitats were full. Let's just go with nature eggs. So here, I know this seems kind of silly, but we're going to get four nature dragon eggs. Beautiful. And one more. Yeah, there we go. So that's full for now. We're going to be making some progress. It's going to be moving slowly but surely. And I'm feeling really good about this. Now, I've got to run. So before I run off here, we're going to collect all the gold that's available. And hopefully we're going to see a red gem. If we don't, no biggie. We'll come back to it. Perfect. And here, ooh, nice gold. I like it. I like it. Oh, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. Here, get that gold. Get that gold. Oh, that's still building. Uh, let's do this. Collect all this gold over here. Perfect. Awesome. So that's making some good progress, and we've set ourselves up for a very, very productive day. Here, our food's going to be ready in a minute. I'm going to set that for two-hour gold storage. And yeah, that's about all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button for the like and stay tuned for more. I'll probably be back this afternoon and I'm going to do some more stuff here. So stay tuned for part 14 of the beginner guide. Take care, everybody. Peace.